Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I have one hell of a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. If you remember from my last video, if you have not seen that yet, it will be at the end of this video where you can click the link. I did a red Evo 10. That one I liked, but I didn't love. This one, though, as soon as I saw it, I was like, listen, I know I did that other one. I definitely want to shoot this one. Remember, the Mitsubishi Lancer Revolution was Mitsubishi's way of going rally racing. You got an all-wheel drive car, that inline four turbocharged engine. It was something that was revolutionary back then. Now, as time went by, eventually it came to the Evo 10. Some people didn't like the Evo 10. They didn't like the new styling, and they didn't like the new engine under the hood. That's something that I could not understand is why if Subaru, if uh, Mitsubishi had such a successful history with that engine, why they would switch it up is beyond me. And then the, obviously the bigger question is why would they kill the car off after doing all that development, all that marketing, all that time? But anyways, I have this beautiful white, they call this wicked white Evo 10 here. Let me go ahead and take a look and show you the front here. If you look at the front of the Evo 10s, I really, really love my favorite part is this open grill area. Now, if I was to buy an Evo, I would probably go with a 2006 Evo 9, the generation right before this. But, you know, when they came out with the Evo 10s in 2008, it was something that was way different. And it has such a unique look and that even though they stopped making the Evo 10 back in 2015, it still looks like this thing rolled out of a, a showroom floor here in 2018. But I really like this open front end. I don't know if Russ, my cameraman, could show you up front here this intercooler. Now, remember, the intercooler is there to keep that air cool that's going into the engine. If you see the letters AMS, that's a company based out of Texas that's able to do a lot of trickery under the hood to these Evos to get the extra horsepower. So a bigger intercooler is going to get you more power. Obviously, if there was something under the hood like a bigger turbo, that's also going to get you more power. But from the factory, this car came with almost 300 horsepower stock. A lot of guys throw a lot of money and soup these things up. And guess what? The Evos can take it. They can take that extra horsepower. I've seen Evos putting out 700, 800 horsepower and not having any issues. The problem is, is that in 2008 with the Evo 10, they switched it. And some people weren't happy with the new aluminum block. They'd rather have the old steel block for that extra strength. But it's still, like I said, one hell of a looker and one hell of a performer. Let's go ahead and take a look at this hood. I really like the stock hood. Now, the stock hood is aluminum. It has a central air duct, and then it has the two uh, heat retractors here that's going to take the heat out of the engine compartment. Because remember, it's all about getting cool air in and getting that hot air out. Let's go ahead and look at the side here. I've always liked with the Evos that little extra flare fender. Because remember, this car is based on a Lancer. So you have that Lancer look but you have a little bit of an extra flared fender. I really, really love these BBS wheels that this owner put on here. These are 18 inch. They're finished in a nice gunmetal gray. Also, if you look sneaking behind, lurking behind these wheels, you have the traditional Brembo brake four piston setup, and he's got a nice set of cross drilled and ventilated rotors. That's gonna give you that extra stopping power uh, that if you're doing a track day, if you're doing an autocross event, you're gonna want that kind of stuff. I really, really like how the functional vents on the fender, those are the types of things I like to see. I like to see if you're gonna put something on a car, make it functional, not just for looks. Let's go ahead and work our way down the side of this car. So as you can see, it's got an, a wonderful shape. I like the lower sill down here. That's for aerodynamics, obviously. That's something that is Evo specific. Outback is probably the biggest thing you're gonna see that's Evo specific. Here is that traditional Evo wing, because remember, rally racing, the things that you put on the car from the factory, you're allowed to run in the different events. So you're going to want a wing on there to give you that downforce. I really like the wings on the Evos. They're not as tall as the Subarus. Um, so if you don't want something too tall, it's a nice in-between. I like the shape of it. And these things are functional. Let's look at this back trunk area. This one has the stock trunk. If you look at the other one, that one had a modified trunk. So this has the stock Mitsubishi trunk. There's the logo. I really, really love how they do the taillights in these Evos, how it's separated, but it's all encased in the housing. And then to finish it off is this beautiful diffuser. Now this uh, owner went ahead and this is an AMS single outlet exhaust, obviously with turbos. It's all about getting that air in and getting that air out. 
and that's what's going to give you that extra horsepower. It's a shame that Mitsubishi decided to kill this car off. Let's hope that one day after they're done making their SUVs, they go back to making something like this because I think this is what the enthusiasts want. Um, I know it's what the enthusiasts want because it's something that I definitely want. But anyways, if you like seeing these types of cars like Evos and Subarus and whatnot, leave a comment in that comment section. I want to thank you guys for watching. Check out RadiesRides.com. You can message me there. Check out my Instagram page. If you have not bought your Radies Ride t-shirt, they're only $15. I'll put the link in the bio um, for this, and you can go ahead and, and support Radies Rides. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you for subscribing, and I'll see you on the next ride.